Hi, you might remember 13 years ago, I did a video on delusional Dyson marketing, where this Dyson dust bustery uh, thing, vacuum thing, um, the marketing on the box for this thing was that uh, it saves the environment, zero carbon emissions, because it didn't have any carbon brushes inside the motor in this thing that produce carbon dust. <laughs> anyway, uh, absolutely ridiculous, but Turns out this thing has failed. Wah, 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 wah. Mrs. EV blog just ordered me to take a look at it. So, um, it does have a really cool dropout uh, battery. So I have no idea if the actual units, like the motors died or whatever, or whether or not it's the battery or the charger or whatnot, but it does have a button on here and it just drops out. Look at that. And that's all in one. So we've got the charger built into the stem of the battery. I rather like that. So let's have a squeeze here. We've got our two contacts on the top, which go to the uh, motor, and we've got three contacts on the side here, unlabeled. So maybe a temp sensor or some other thing. Um, and yeah, there we go. We've got one of those um, weird ass uh, DC uh, jacks on the thing coming from the charger. Specs are 22.2 volts. Ooh, that's high voltage. Um, that's quite unusual. 77 watt hours, uh, 3500 milliamp hour. Uh, lithium ion jobby, so uh, let's measure it. So 22.2 volts are uh, divided by six cells inside that would give a nominal 3.7 volts uh, per battery. So I, I assume it's a six cell construction. Well, you could probably count them, couldn't you? Um, are they 18650s? So yeah, that looks like an 18650 to me. And one, two, Three, yeah, four, five, six. Yeah, that looks like uh, six cells in there. So no wackers, and by the way, this one's <laughs> brilliant marketing. If you want marketing, check this out. <laughs> it's gonna catch on fire. It's trust fire. Trust that it's gonna catch on fire. Don't think they thought that one through. So what do we get? Oh, yeah, 18.11 uh, volts. Uh, that's just a smidge over three volts per cell. Um, that's no good, so it could, we could have ourselves a dead battery pack here, but we could try and uh, revive the thing, I guess. So oh, let's plug in the charger, and there it is. What do we got here? Aha, 24.35 volts, 24.35 divided by six on the confuser here. That's 4.06 volts uh, per cell. So that sounds uh, reasonable to charge that sucker up. I don't know why there's an additional one there. Uh, oh, oh, there's an inner. Oh, it's a tri What? It's a special, special doodaddy tri ring thing. Are you serious? What? Yeah, yeah, there is a ring inside there as well as the outer ring and the tip. Just the tip, ma'am. What kind of proprietary bullshit is that? Unbelievable. Anyway, up, uh, let's stick it up the clacker and uh, see if it charges. The green lead on the plug pack is on, but I, I know it don't, doesn't charge because we're, we've had it left on and it doesn't do anything. So, 19.2. Uh, there you go. And is that rising? It's rising. So, maybe see what do these other ones do. I'll leave that as a common. 11 millivolts. 8 millivolts. 11 millivolts, there's nothing on there. No, it looks like there's nothing relative on there at all. So, no, no, nothing on those, so I don't know what they do. So I'm not sure if there's like some charging circuitry in here or not, because we're not going to get this apart, it's all heat sealed. Well, it could, but you know, it's going to uh, damage it. So yeah, we expect a constant current um, charge thing, but anyway, uh, I, yeah, I what the extra 13? Volts is, is that to power so what? No, I don't, why? What do we get on the inside? Oh, uh, tw oh 26, did I get that backwards? Oh yeah, there you go, the inner ring is 16.7 and then 24.35. Yeah, so we're a bit higher, so it looks like, on, we're a bit higher on both, so it looks like this is an unregulated uh, plug pack, and yeah, so they must have the uh, charging circuitry inside there for the lithium ion because you want your constant current um, curve and then your constant voltage uh, curve to kick in. So my guess would be that the battery is dead ski. Um, because these these seem fine. I mean, they're not going to be out of regulation 
on both. Like they're not going to, if they were, you know, fully regulated, then uh, they're not just going to suddenly, um, you know, both go high like that. So yeah, I would say that they're not, that those are just nominal voltages on the plug pack, and this this is unregulated. It's a bloody triaxial thing. Um, I don't have one of those. Like I've I've got this style of jack. I've got like, you know, 50 different adaptory things. I don't have a triaxial one. So if I did, I'd be able to like charge this up externally. So I don't know if it needs the 13 volts there or whatnot, but like, oh my God, seriously? Actually, it turns out that the different various adapters I've got, they're also tri triaxial, so to speak, um, with the inner metal like that. And I've measured it and that is actually isolated from the outer metal, like that. So, that is isolated. So it looks like they're all inherently triaxial. I've never really looked into the details of that, but of course I can't access that. But it's only coaxial out the clacker there, not triaxial, so I can't actually get in and contact that. But I'll see if I've got one that matches. If I do have one, hey, one that fits, there you go. That might do the job. So I might try that, and if it doesn't need that uh, 16 volts and only needs that 24, to charge the thing, then we could be right. It's worth a go. I think the battery's dead anyway, but if we can like rejuvenate it, that'd be cool. So let's just bump that up to 24 volts there. And let's just say, let's just uh, half an amp, something like that. So let's give it a bell. Got it around the right way. Yeah, I think so. Just do a sanity check there. There you go, 24 volts, all right. All right, let's go see if it can do anything. And uh, we're in constant current mode. So we put in half an amp into there. You can see that. See that right there. I'm going to leave that for a bit and see if we can't rejuvenate this sucker, huh? Um, yeah, because those cells might have gone completely dead. There might be some protection circuitry in the cells or whatever. So uh, yeah, and maybe the plug pack doesn't have the grunt to get it going again, but it's a long shot, but eh, it's worth it. I'll get back to you. Let's see what voltage we've got on there. 19 and a half. Okay, that's what we were getting before. No, we were getting 18 point something, weren't we? <laughs> I can't remember exactly. By like, oh, it's rising. Uh, keep your tongue at the right angle and it's going up. <laughs> Run the numbers on that. So my guess here is that with the multiple voltages, the uh, the lower voltage, that 16 volts there, that just powers the internal circuitry inside the Dyson, because it's going to have, I don't know, whiz bang, you know, Dyson-y magic in there. Um, and then the 24 volts just like go straight from the motor to the battery and that's it. And they couldn't be bothered putting a voltage regulator in there to, <laughs> or they wanted it sort of proprietary. So you had to buy their, um, you know, whiz bang triaxial plug pack thing. I'll, I'll just leave it there for a while and just, just see if the batteries come back. It's been a couple of hours. I just, I wasn't monitoring much. I just came back and I, look, eight milliamps. Um, yeah. Okay. Did something go, <laughs> did it go pop, pop goes the weasel? 20.8 um, volts. There you go. Still not fantastic, is it? Oh, by the way, it just occurred to me that, um, given that there is the 16 volts in here, and we actually measured nothing on here, um, I don't know how that voltage gets through to the thing. It just seems odd that there's nothing there. So I've got the plug pack back in, and you can see that there's like, there is nothing on here at all. So like, where is, where is the 16 volts? So like, yeah, I just don't get it. Like, it is on that circular thing. Where does it go? Does it, ah, oh, is it for another product? Maybe, ah, maybe it's for a lower, right. I think I know what that is now. The plug pack could be compatible with two different voltage uh, batteries. That's what it might be. That's what it might be, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, so we've got a 24 volt battery here, but there might be like a 16 volt version as well. So, yep. Okay. I think that's what it might be. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, 20.8 divided by 6 is only 3.5 volts. So, per cell. So, that ain't gonna work. 
No, wah, 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 wah. no I, I just don't think that this thing, I think the battery's gone and uh, this thing is just not going to accept a charge properly. So, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to get a new battery. I'm not going to try and repack it. Like, as I said, this is probably like um, heat, heat sealed, I would suspect. I don't think there's any... No, that's probably, that's not a screw, I don't think. Be surprised if that's a screw under there. I think it's just the uh, heat, uh, like the injection port for the plastic. Yeah, that looks like the plastic. Yeah, the battery is uh, dead ski. I mean, it is 13 years old. It's had a ton of use. <laughs> Not every day, but yeah, I don't know how many hundreds or a thousand times we've used it or something over 13 years. So yeah, I'll just get a new battery. Um, So it's a DC31. Uh, type A, Type A, not to be confused with Type B, which is totally different. So Dyson have a ton of different batteries, but I can pick up one of these. Um, they are still available, so it's still a thing. So um, yeah, sorry, boring video. Um, yeah, it looks like this thing, this sucker, does not hold a charge at all. Um, and those batteries, just like three and a half volts per cell, that's nut, nut. And you see the charge cut out there, so. Um, yeah, there's just no point, no point, ah, oh, there, there you go, it's going again, but it'll just cut out again, I'm sure, and nah, gone ski, anyway, that's it, catch you next time.